well hello guys <laughs> welcome back to my vlog i am back i guess i'm going to give this another shot um but yeah it's been like six months i think since i i posted a video but honestly it's just been one of those years like this year has been crazy for me i feel like i have not had um a moment to even just stop and like breathe and be like okay just breathe take it easy take it slow um you know what um a colleague of mine was saying hey we are in september and i was like wait what i cannot believe that um we are close to the end of 2022 like it's crazy guys because it just feels like it started like yesterday Anywho, um, that's all. But, um, like I said, I'm really, really going to give this a shot because I totally, totally love connecting with you. I love receiving the messages and just questions and all of that. Um, so this is me saying, okay, we've got to really be serious and committed with this. <laughs> but today I wanted to just, you know, come on here and talk a little bit about, um, how like insecurities just um stifle us and stagnate us um kind of lead us to this um self-sabotage cycle that is never ending and just um something that i've dealt with it's something that i've taken a bit of time to just look into study um and help people as well okay you know, I work at a college, at a college, and I, I, I see a lot of students, a lot of people saying, hey, I feel like I'm called to do this. I know for a fact this is what I'm supposed to do. You know, I know that I'm supposed to do this, I'm supposed to do that. And well, we live in this um, time where there's so much judgment, where everyone feels like they have, um, they get a say in what you do. Everyone has a point of view, you know, about things that have to do with your life right and I was like this is really fueled a lot of insecurity a lot of fear a lot of anxiety you know a lot of people have this this just insurmountable fear of rejection that refuses to let go and so like I'm like thinking like how do you deal with um, insecurities like that like how do you work on yourself to do the things that you're called to do regardless of those insecurities. I think I was reading through the story of Saul. Okay, so if you look at the story of um, King Saul in the Bible, if you look at the story of King Saul, he had everything, you know, going for him except for this, just this, this huge amount of insecurity that he had inside of him, this desire to please people, this desire for people to love him. And we see Saul self-sabotage everything that God had given to him until he disqualified himself from being on the throne. So the idea here is that really every one of us is here on purpose. Everyone has something that they're called to do. This It doesn't even have to just be ministry. It could be in the business sector. It could be anything. We are all called to do something. Now, the truth is the devil really can't stop you when you're walking in God's will, when you are stepping in God's will and saying, okay, I'm going to commit myself to do all of this. You know, God backs you up. Things work out. Doesn't mean it's going to be an easy process but things do line up however what he can do what he does is that he can fill your heart and your mind with so much insecurity you know especially when it has to do with with your identity because if i can attack your identity then you never get to know who you are and that will ultimately mean that you don't get to do the things you're supposed to do because how can i walk in certain things that i should walk in if I don't even know who I am and so then we start seeing thoughts like I'm not good enough you know I'm gonna be rejected I'm not well prepared enough maybe this is not the right time all those ex excuses just start coming up and coming up and what you ultimately find is that you get to a point where you just stop okay you just stall and you don't do anything you stop moving 
And that's his goal. Because if he gets you to stall, you're just going to stall and you're not going to make any move. When you stall, you start doubting your calling. You start doubting the gifts that you have. Listen, I'm not saying that we're all perfect. I'm not saying that, you know, you, you probably have everything, all the dots in the row. But the truth is, there will always be people who are better than you and there will always be people who are less, you know, who are not as good as you rather, who are not as good as you. Now, what, he, what the devil will do is he will Fill your mind with so much insecurities and doubt that when you yield to them, you stop doubting your calling. Now, you start seeing growth opportunities as limitations, as obstacles. You know, your, your perception of what you're going through really goes a long way in determining how you're going to walk through it. So if I'm dealing with, if I'm, if I'm a singer and I realize that I'm not able to hold notes, well, that's a growth opportunity because if I apply myself, if I practice enough, then I can grow into being that person who can hold a note. Well, if I look at that from the eyes of an insecure person, I'm not good enough. So I should just stop singing because I'm not even able to do what a regular singer should be able to do. And what that what, what happens is that I stall, I ultimately disqualify myself from doing anything. And I never amount to anything. I end up not doing anything at all. So if you're dealing with this, let me first of all say that you are amazing. This is your affirmation from me. You are anointed. You are called by God and you're not here by mistake. You are here on purpose. So the first step really is that you need to change your thinking, change your perspective, start seeing those issues in your life as growth opportunities okay i i don't i don't know how to do this well well that's an opportunity to grow that's not a limitation i can grow into that secondly be authentically you you will never be the best version of yourself if you're trying to be someone else you know take for example like i know that i i I am extroverted, but I'm very much introverted. I'm not particularly the one who walks into a room and is friends with every single person. And, you know, for a time in my life, I was wanting to be that person. It didn't come easy. Of course, I needed to make a little bit more progress, but it's not who I am. And I'm okay with who I am. I don't have to be the next person. I don't have to be the best at everything. I am me and I'm going to stick to being me. Now, this is important. You need to get up and move. You need to do something. You need to set goals and make moves. Start small. Just take a step. Today does not have to be the day when you do everything, but perhaps today is the day that you start writing stuff down. You know, even if it's just beginning to take little baby steps towards achieving that goal, towards being that person that you want to be. This is how you, you need to see it. What I do today determines what I'm going to be tomorrow. And so if I want to be, you know, a, B, C, D, E in the next five years, then there has to be something I'm doing today to get me to that point. Finally, you need to have a revelation of your identity, of who you are, okay? You are not meant to do this life alone. I say this all the time. The Holy Spirit is here to walk life with you, to do life with you. And so you've got to just be in that place where you're like, God, you know what? I'm going to surrender to you. I'm ready to do whatever it is that you want me to do. You know, if you look through the Bible, you know, whenever God calls Jeremiah, when he calls um, Gideon, you know, they were, they were all like, you know, God, I'm too small, I'm too young for this, you know, my family is the smallest, I can't do this, I can't do that, and it's okay. 
Because God does not intend to send you out without help. His intention is to walk with you to accomplish something. And so even if you feel like you're not good enough, that you're not prepared, trust God. Walk with Him. Rely on Him. Depend on Him. Partner with the Holy Spirit and go and be who God has called you to be. Well, you know what? Thank you for watching my TED Talk. But, um, again, it's just been absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys again. Bye.